Here's an example about how to orthogonally diagonalize a matrix. So we're given this matrix A here, and we're asked to orthogonally diagonalize it if possible. If possible suggests that it may not be possible. We can take a look at the spectral theorem here really quick just to review. By the way, this is the same spectral theorem that's in the lecture notes. A is orthogonally diagonalizable if it's symmetric. So if A is a symmetric matrix, then A is orthogonally diagonalizable. We also know that the eigenspaces are mutually orthogonal, which means eigenvectors from different eigenspaces are orthogonal to each other. And B is actually really great, though it may not be obvious what it means, that the dimension of the eigenspace is equal to the multiplicity of the corresponding eigenvalue. What that means is, even if we don't get distinct eigenvalues, we will be able to get a set of n orthogonal eigenvectors. So we'll see how that works. First, though, we, we need to check and see if A is symmetric. So remember, a symmetric matrix has the property that entries across the main diagonal are equal to each other. So for example, these two are equal, these two are equal, and these two are equal. So indeed, this matrix A is symmetric and therefore diagonalizable. To orthogonally diagonalize A, we need to diagonalize it and then do an extra step of normalizing the eigenvectors. So I skipped some steps here and just gave the results, finding the three eigenvalues and corresponding basis vectors. Now notice that lambda 2 and lambda 3 are actually equal to each other. So some people might just say lambda 1 is minus 6 and lambda 2 is 3 and that there are only two eigenvalues. Well, the spectral theorem says that we'll get n real eigenvalues. And so n in this case is 3 because A is a 3 by 3 matrix. So I've just gone ahead and labeled them differently, lambda 2 and lambda 3, even though they're both 3. We could just say that there's one eigenvalue with multiplicity 2 here. And that's what the spectral theorem was talking about when it said that the multiplicity and the dimension of the eigenspace would be equal to each other. So we'll see how that works as we go on here. Okay, so we've got our set of three eigenvectors here, and if we just wanted to diagonalize A, we could take these, put them into the matrix P, and put the corresponding eigenvalues into the diagonal matrix D, and we'd be done. But what we need to do is make sure that these give us an orthogonal set. Now, because the multiplicity of lambda 2 is 2, these two eigenvectors are actually both in the same eigenspace. The spectral theorem guarantees that U1 is orthogonal to U2, and U1 is orthogonal to U3, because they are in different eigenspaces. However, since U2 and U3 are in the same eigenspace, it is not necessarily the case that they are orthogonal, and in this case you can check, and you'll see the dot product is not zero, so they are not orthogonal. So we need to do the Gram-Schmidt process just on these two, U2 and U3. So as usual, I get one vector for free, I'll just say v2 is u2, and then I'm going to subtract the orthogonal projection of u3 onto v2 from u3, and that's going to be my v3. Here's the corresponding equations. u3.v2 is minus 4, v2.v2 is 5. I skipped those steps just for the sake of time here. Do the arithmetic here. Here's our vector v3, and now this set u1, v2, and v3 is an orthogonal set. Now all we need to do is normalize the vectors there, which we do down here, and we get an orthonormal set. So here's our orthogonal set of eigenvectors, and then we calculate the norm of each of these eigenvectors. Again, I skipped the steps. The norm of u1 is 3, the norm of v2 is 5, and the norm of v3 is 3 root 5 over 5. And we divide each of the corresponding eigenvectors by the norm. We get these vectors. So this set, these three vectors, is our orthonormal set of eigenvectors. And so uh, I've called those W's here. So we take the W's, we put them into our matrix P. Here they are. And then D is the diagonal matrix with the corresponding eigenvalues on the main diagonal. So this 
is an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue minus 6. These two are eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalue 3. And P and D orthogonally diagonalize A since P is an orthogonal matrix. You can check your results a few different ways here. You can compute P, D, P transpose, and that's going to be equal to A. You can compute P transpose A, P, that's going to be equal to D. Or you could just do A, P times P, D. That way you don't have to figure out what P transpose is. And uh, if these two products are equal, then your factorization is correct.